Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, have you ever heard of something called Fab in a Launcher? Maybe you have seen pop it up and wonder what it is or maybe you are a 3D artist looking for a better way to manage your assets. Well today we are diving into exactly that. So what is a Fab in Launcher? Think of it as a new and improved version of the old Bridge application but with a big upgrade. While Bridge was mostly for Quixel assets, uh, Fab works for all kinds of uh, fab content, making it a powerful all-in-one hub. Its main job is to create a seamless link between your assets and your favorite software. We are talking about programs like Blender, Maya, Cinema 4D, Unity and of course Unreal Engine. It's the new modern way to handle and import your content and it's eventually going to take over from the older Vault system. So let's talk about some of its awesome features. First up, a one-click export. This is a game changer. You can find the asset you like in the launcher, click a single button and boom, it's right there in your project. No more manual downloading or dragging files. Next, we have batch operations. If you have a whole scene to build, you can select and export multiple assets at the same time. This is a huge time saver and makes your workflow so much faster. And what about uh, working offline? Don't worry, once you've downloaded an asset, it lives on your computer. You can easily find it uh, in your library and export it to any project without needing to download it again. Fabbing Launcher also helps with asset management. It automatically sets up the materials for you, which is a big help. Just keep in mind that this can sometimes vary depending on how the original creator set up the file. The team behind Fab is always working to make it better. They know about some of the initial performance issues like slow loading and they are actively working on fixes. They also have some exciting stuff on the way. The My Library section is getting a major update uh, with better filters and improved search. And get ready for some cool new features like a shift clip for uh, multi-select, uh, a batch delete function and even support for new formats like Godot and Substance. They're also planning to add notifications to let you know when your downloaded product get an update. So you might be thinking, how is this different from other versions I've used? So let's break it down. Compared to the web version, the launcher's big advantage is direct integration. It completely removes the need for manual downloads and unzipping, which makes your entire workflow much more efficient. And what about the old Bridge uh, app? Well, Fabian Launcher is built on a much more stable foundation with a dedicated team. It's expected to quickly surpass everything Bridge could do. Lastly, you might be familiar with the plugin for Unreal Engine's editor. While that's great for a quick workflow, the launcher was created to bring that same awesome integration to all other tools that don't have a dedicated plugin. It's about making things easy for everyone, no matter what uh, software you use. And this is it, a quick look uh, at what Fab in the launcher is all about. It's a powerful tool that's still growing and it's definitely worth checking out if you're serious about your 3D art workflow. If you find this helpful, uh, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more content just like this. And let me know in the comments below, have you used Fab in the launcher yet? Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.